What's up, Adventure School? This is Chris coming back at you today with some really exciting updates. Uh, I've been thinking for the past while about some of the adventures I go on. <laughs> they uh, they can be kind of crazy. Oftentimes I go by myself and I recognize that there's a lot of risk involved in some of them. So um, <clears throat> I've always had kind of this kit, I don't know, like a little uh, emergency kit, some first aid gear, some survival stuff but I've always felt like it's inadequate and I don't always carry it with me, especially when I do things more active like trail running or skiing or you know things like this um, where I really might need it. So I've been thinking, um, it's time to put together my own kit. Adventures don't always go as planned, wanna be prepared and ready for anything that could happen, especially when I'm on my own. So, um, this is what I started with. Kind of started with what I've got. This is what I use currently, and I'll show you what's in here, but you can see it's relatively small. Um, this has all my first aid gear, all my survival gear, some extra food, emergency shelter, but it's incomplete and I really don't uh, like the way it works for me right now. And I haven't field tested all this stuff. So I don't know if it's, you know, when I need a shelter, am I gonna be able to use the one that's in here, this emergency Mylar blanket? Probably not, unless I test it and work on it a bit. So um, here's what I've laid out. The requirements for this it has to be, first of all, it has to be small. This is good, but if I can get it even smaller with everything in there, even better. It has to be compact, uh, it has to be lightweight. I don't know how much this weighs right now, I have to weigh it, but when I'm doing things like trail running or whatever, minimal weight is the key. I can't be packing around one of these like huge emergency packs you see these survivalists and preppers and stuff use. Not gonna happen. I know most of you guys aren't gonna do that either. That's not what this is designed for. This isn't like a zombie apocalypse sort of thing. This is just, hey, got stuck on the mountain during a trail run or a bike ride. Um, got stranded out after dark. Do I have what I need to get home without having to have search and rescue uh, get up in the middle of the night to come rescue me? Um, okay, so the other thing that it needs to have is it's gotta be like really packable. I've seen a lot of them that are like packed in these hard plastic cases or metal tins. That's not gonna work either. It's gotta be something that, that it's relatively malleable, that packable, you can compress it, change it, whatever. So um, those are some of the requirements. But obviously it has to have all the right gear in it. We'll go through that in a minute. But um, the problem is I've looked for just buying something. There's nothing out there. Either, you know, you get these little tiny Altoids tins that are full of just like crap stuff, like fishing hooks and whatever. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a good fisherman. I like to fish, but I don't think I'm ever going to use those little tiny fishing hooks um, in a survival situation where I'm like up on the mountain trying to get home. Food isn't my priority. Getting home is my priority. So, you know, on a fishing trip, sure, I could test that out, try to catch some, but whatever. Uh, back to the, the kit. Everything I found online, I don't like. So um, I'm going to build my own and we'll go through series of videos here talking about the steps, the gear. I'm gonna find, hand pick the right gear that I want and we'll field test it too. I don't wanna throw stuff in here that I've never used, that I, I don't know how to use or um, don't know if it's reliable enough to use. So we'll field test it all and we'll go through the process together. I like to call this my ARC or always ready kit. Um, just feel like it's a good acronym ARC to uh, just, you got the ARC, throw it in, bring the ARC. I also want it to be kind of adaptable. So, you know, wintertime adventures may need to change from what I've got in here in summertime. The other thing is I, it has to be all 100% waterproof. Canyoneering, snorkeling, kayaking, all these things. Like I've gotta be able to submerge this whole thing underwater and have it work. So it's gotta be reliably waterproof, not just water resistant. Um, let's go through what I've got here. So this, is the main component here. This is my first aid kit. First aid kit has um, a lot of essentials in it. 
I'm not going to break into this right now, but if you're interested in knowing what I pack in my first aid kit, it's over on my website, uh, myadventureschool.com. Go check it out. You can find there's a, a recent article I put up about, you know, what to pack for a day hike or something like that. I'll link it in the description below. But um, all the contents of this are in there. I'll be adapting and updating this as well. So this is what I've got so far. But as I go through this process, I'm going to scale this down to what I really need and find high quality materials. Next, uh, this is another piece of my first aid kit. This is a Sam splint and it's too big to fit in that little thing. So I put it in there. Um, great to have, but uh, I don't know. I've never actually needed it. So I don't know if this is the right thing or if I'm just gonna improvise with a stick or my hiking pole or whatever. So something to question. Let's see what else I got here. Um, this is my emergency shelter. It's just one of these uh, Mylar blankets basically. So go through that more. Some energy blocks. Let's see, this is strawberry flavor, 100 calories. So this pack is 200 calories. Emergency sugar, keep the brain going. Emergency food here. Again, this is one of these Nature Valley bars. Uh, this is 190 calories. So all in all, I've got almost 400 calories, but I'm sure there's a better way to do that with less uh, bulk and more durable, shelf stable, all that, whatever, more calories. Got a little mini flashlight here. This one's pretty bright and it's got a bunch of features. You can turn on, there's little strips right there. You can turn on for uh, like reading mode and it also has a clip so you can clip it onto your hat visor and use it as a headlamp. So that's pretty nice. I think that's probably a good piece to have in here, but we'll assess. I've also got, let's see, <clears throat> this is my Sawyer water filter and it's got duct tape wrapped around it. So just kind of, you know, when you need water, you need water. Got a little knife. This is a cheap one, really not uh, probably highest quality for what I need, but it's worked when I've needed it. It's got a little blade, it's got pliers, um, scissors, a bunch of other stuff. But the important thing is small, lightweight. And I have it, that's the important thing. And I've got a lighter. Now this is really easy and simple to use, go to, but you can run out of fuel and these don't always work at things like high altitude. I need this kit to work anywhere I go. High altitude, wet conditions, dry conditions, arid conditions, night, day, whatever. So, you know, this is this is one item, but maybe not the best. We'll have to assess that. Maybe I need like a fire rod, fire starting stick. Okay, <clears throat> one last thing to drop. This is just a straw that goes with the water filter. Um, you could use that for a lot of other things too, but that's the kit and it, I store it in this little bag. This is just a, a nylon bag that's kind of an old bag. You can see it's falling apart here. Got some road wear marks. Um, I like this bag, but I think I'm gonna upgrade it to something like a little dry bag that I can seal up and make waterproof. So this whole kit's just waterproof, ready to go. Um, all right, so that's my arc so far. We've got a lot of work to do, so stay tuned. We'll talk about it and we'll test everything out, see if my little Mylar blanket shelter actually works and uh, <laughs> what other options we have. So be sure to subscribe and follow along as we build this out and I test all these products and source them out, buy them, put them together. And eventually once we get it all set, maybe I'll even offer you my kit that you can buy, um, all curated and ready to go. So. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with other people so that they can follow along too, especially if you've got adventurers who go out on their own, do crazy stuff like I like to do, and um, may need to be more prepared because I'm not gonna rely on those $20 Walmart or Amazon kits that say all-inclusive survival cure. Yeah, I don't think those are gonna help me and they definitely aren't convenient and easy to use in some of the more active adventures that we go on. So share and uh, stay tuned. We'll have more videos in the future.